Hi everyone, welcome to Pre-Calculus. My name is Miss Barry and I'm gonna be your instructor this semester. So I'm gonna make a quick video here to just tell you all of the important information about our course and um, hopefully answer any questions that you have. All right, so I'm gonna flip my screen around and we'll get started. Okay. All right, so welcome to pre-calculus. Okay. On the agenda for this short video is just a brief introduction, um, an overview of our course, um, the required course materials that you will need to purchase, the methods of evaluation. We'll talk about how do I handle late or makeup work, and then we'll talk lastly about exams. All right, so this is my family. My name's Jamie Berry. Um, you can see my email there. Just uh, usually, if you just type in, start typing Jamie, um, my my little icon should pop up. If you're trying to email me, um, I am married. That's my husband Josh. Um, we've been married for about uh, since 2018, and those are my two children, Jude and Rachel. Um, my office is located in Jones 146 um, on the on the bottom floor of Jones in the little math suite. And there's my office phone number, 912-279-5932. Um, and that is a landline. So if you, um, you know, you can't text that number, but you can call me and leave me a voicemail and I will uh, call you back or email you back. All right, so the required course materials, uh, there are two things that you'll need to purchase. The first is a Hawks Learning Access Code. Um, you can purchase this either directly from the bookstore or you can purchase it uh, for a little bit cheaper if you purchase directly through Hawks. All right, so now if you did take college algebra here at CCGA, then you do not need to purchase an access code. Um, we use the same textbook as college algebra so that uh, you have a lifetime um, access to that textbook and so you don't have to repurchase. So if you are a dual enrollment student or if you have already taken college algebra here at CCGA, you do not need to purchase anything. Um, but if you are, um, if this is your first time taking pre-calculus or um, college algebra or any of those math classes at CCGA, then you will need to purchase an access code. Again, if you purchase it from the bookstore, you can use your financial aid. It's just a little bit more expensive. If you purchase directly through Hawks, you get a little bit of a discount. Um, and you do get a two week free trial. So starting at the first day of classes, you get a two week free trial. So you have a little bit of time to figure that out. And then again, if you took college algebra here at CCGA, you already have access to our textbook. You do not need to purchase another access code. Um, you will need a graphing calculator for this course. Um, it is recommended that you use the TI-83 or TI-84. Um, I'll be using the TI-84, so uh, that'll just make it a little bit easier for you to follow along with my videos. Um, but there are less expensive options available, um, and they work just as well. So uh, specifically, probably Casio would be a, a good, less expensive option. All right, you're also going to need to have a reliable internet connection. Um, all of your assignments are completed online. This is an online class, so a reliable internet connection is really important. Um, if you know that your internet at home is not stable or not reliable, just, you know, don't take your exams there. Don't plan to take your exams there. Um, you can use the campus Wi-Fi, uh, which is, is pretty good and pretty stable. And uh, you could also, of course, just use one of the computers in the library. Um, they already have all the necessary software downloaded, um, pre-downloaded on them. So you could do that as well. If you do decide to take it in the library, just maybe bring some noise canceling headphones. That way you don't get um, distracted. And you will be required to use Respondus Lockdown Browser with Monitor. Um, this is a, a web browser that is free to CCGA students. You will never um, have to pay for that. So if you're in the middle of downloading that and it wants you to tap in your credit card number or something, then you've done something wrong. Um, this is totally free. If you open the computer ready quiz that's in our D2L course, you'll be prompted to download or update if you've used it before um, the Respondus Lockdown browser. All right, so again, that's just a lot, that's a browser. It's just like Chrome or um, Edge or Firefox, Safari. 
Um, but it just locks down the computer so that you cannot open another window and Google the answers or um, open up a calculator or anything like that. Um, so it's just a specific type of browser that, that locks down your computer so that just makes it um, a little bit more, uh, what's the word, like secure and uh, allows me to uh, feel confident that you're not cheating. So methods of evaluation. In this course, you will complete homework on Hawks learning. Uh, you will be graded on the certify portion of Hawks. There's three. Whenever you log on to the assignments, you'll see that there's three categories. There's learn, practice, certify. You're only graded on the certify portion. Um, so you can practice um, using that middle part where it says practice. And uh, you can do that as many times as you want. Um, that's not going to affect your grade. The certified portion is the only part that affects your grade. You will have unit exams on D2L. Those are worth 50% of your grade. And then the final exam, which will be administered on D2L, is, uh, is worth 25% of your grade. This is my late homework policy and makeup exam policy. Uh, the late penalty for homework is there's a 10% penalty for one day late. 20% penalty for two days late, and then if it's more than two days late, you can wait until the very end of the semester and, and complete it, and there'll be a 30% penalty. So it's definitely worth um, completing the homework, even if you've missed the due date. And then over here on the right, it says there's no extensions granted for exams. Um, late exams will not be accepted. However, the final exam will replace your lowest test grade, including a missed exam. So if you just accidentally miss an exam, um, then the final exam will replace that missed exam grade as long as it benefits you. Um, and this policy, of course, does not apply to cases where I've given you a zero on an exam due to an academic integrity violation. Um, I'm, I'm typically very, uh, you know, willing to uh, be flexible and stuff like that. If you let me know beforehand, like, hey, I've, ha I've had students before say like, hey, I'm, I'm going to be out of town this weekend. Um, can I take the exam early? That's totally fine. I don't mind doing that. Um, but we can't wait until after the exam has the exam window has closed and then take the exam. All right. So you've got to communicate with me. Let me know beforehand that you're going to be out of town or maybe you have, you know, some event that you're going to be doing that weekend. You just got to let me know and we can um, make arrangements. But you can't wait until after the exam window has closed. All right. So let's talk a little bit more about exams and then we'll wrap this up. All right, so all exams are going to be administered online via D2L. You can access the exams by clicking on the Assignments tab in, in our D2L course and then selecting Quizzes from the drop-down menu. You are, like I mentioned before, you are required to use Respondus Monitor, excuse me, Respondus Lockdown Browser and Monitor on the unit exams and final exam. That means that there's going to be a webcam that is recording you uh, while you take the exam, and that just you know, assures me that there's no one sitting behind you giving you answers or, um, you know, that you don't have a phone out and you're Googling stuff. Um, so it just gives me that peace of mind that I can um, guarantee that, you know, the right person's taking the exam and that you're not cheating. Now, you will be given two attempts at each exam, right? So, You'll take the exam and then you'll have an additional attempt if you want to. You obviously don't have to take the second attempt if you're happy with your grade on the first attempt. Um, but just know that the questions are not going to be the same on the second attempt. So it's just randomly generated. I have a bunch of questions in my question bank and it's just randomly generating those questions. So it'll be the same type of question, but not the exact same numbers. All right. So you're given two attempts, but questions will not be the same on the second attempt. And then over here on the right, some frequently asked questions. You are allowed to create your own formula sheet for most exams. So when we are in the algebra portion of the class, you will be allowed to create your own formula sheet. Um, whenever we get to the trigonometry portion of the course, I will provide you with the formula sheets because there's a lot of formulas. Um, and I want to make sure you have everything that you need. All right, so when we get to trigonometry, I will provide you with um, the unit circle and with the formula sheets. Um, and you will not be allowed to add anything to those formula sheets that I gave you, those pre-prescribed uh, formula sheets. All right, so just some final tips and takeaways. Reach out to me if you need help. I'm very uh, flexible and very, um, you know, try to be friendly and 
uh, if you need help, you got to let me know. I, I don't know unless you tell me. Uh, make sure that you're take, checking D2L every Monday morning for a rundown of what I'm expecting of you to do that week. And make sure that you're staying on top of your work. This course moves fast. We are covering two whole classes in pre-calculus. We're covering college algebra and trigonometry. And the work will start to pile up if you let it. So you've got to um, be consistently working on this class every week. Um, and that's more on that on this bottom bullet point on the right. Set aside a dedicated time each week that you're working on this class and then try to work in small chunks so you don't get overwhelmed. So don't sit down and think, OK, I'm about to knock out five homeworks. I mean, that's probably going to be too much. Try to sit down, do a homework, get up, take a break, um, come back, watch another video, you know, then take a break. You know, so set, make sure you're setting aside, you know, enough time for yourself so that you can take breaks and, and do the work in small chunks. Um, up here at the top on the right hand side, uh, you can complete the practice exam to help prepare you for the exams. And you can also earn five bonus points for turning in your completed practice exam. So there'll be a little drop box on D2L um, where you can turn in your practice exams and get five bonus points. Make sure that you are reviewing the course schedule. I've got a course schedule up on D2L. If you click on the Unit 0 course introduction, um, if you look at the schedule and you say, oh, you know, my friend's wedding is, is on this weekend where, you know, we're scheduled to have a test, then just let me know so that we can figure something out. Um, don't wait until after you've missed an exam to try to make it up. All right, and then lastly, like I said, make sure that you're setting aside a dedicated time each week. So say like, you know, I'm going to get up early on Wednesday mornings and I'm going to spend an hour working on this class. Or I'm going to get up early on, or I'm going to stay up late on Friday nights and I'm going to spend two hours working on this class. So make sure you're setting aside dedicated time each week. Um, because like I said, if you, if you let the work pile up, it will get away from you. All right, let me stop sharing and then I'll close this video out. Okay. Stop sharing. Okay. Here we are back. Okay. So I'm so glad that you guys are in my class this semester. I'm really looking forward to this semester. I think you guys are going to learn a lot and I think that, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to have a good time doing it. So um, please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys soon. Have a good day.